I'm back home. I'm so happy. I'm literally... I'm gonna die happy. It's like 11 o'clock right now. But my flight was fine. I also realized I never preface. I'm home for the 4th of July. Um, but it was crazy. My flight kept getting delayed. And I was like, Lord, please just let me get home. Because... I don't know. So, I'm tired. I've been up since like 6 this morning. So, I'm just gonna read and go to bed and catch you tomorrow. Good morning! Hello, everybody. Today is the 4th of July. And I could honestly care less about the holiday. But all I care about is that I'm at home. And we're gonna go off to see a parade. It's like 9 20 in the morning right now. Um, this is my outfit. My 4th of July outfit. My shorts are thrifted. This top is thrifted. $2. It's the same shirt I wore yesterday. Um, don't mind that. I realized I didn't pack any patriotic clothing um, except this shirt. So that's that. I'm gonna go out um, and celebrate, I guess. <laughs> I do say please drink responsibly. <laughs> I'm making chocolate chip banana muffins right now. just mix um, lemon LaCroix with some kombucha and I have some sliced, sliced lemons in here as my little drink of choice for 4th of July. It needs more kombucha. It's a little bit too lemony right now. It's made chocolate chip banana muffins. Gluten-free, dairy-free, and refined sugar-free. So we'll see if it tastes any good. Um, let me put some more kombucha in. Also, look how nice it is outside. Blue skies, 4th of July. It's almost like 90 degrees here. And then I have this one. I usually go for the GT Dave's brand, but this was what the store had. Top it off. But yeah, it's like 3.30. I'm going to drink this, read my book, um, and stay out of the heat because it's so hot out. Um, uh, yeah. around 7 15 in the morning today's friday july 5th and my childhood best friend and i are gonna go do a beach cleanup and then after spend the day at the beach i'm so excited i could literally spend every single day at the beach and die happy so i'm and the weather is supposed to be beautiful today so i'm really excited um, it is a little early, but we're gonna go get coffee before we meet up with the rest of the volunteers. So I'm just making breakfast right now, and I'm excited to take you guys along. It should be a fun day.
everyone. It is Saturday morning. It's like 10.15 and I'm on a hike right now. As you can see, it's beautiful here. Um, but yesterday, we, my friend and I did Save Our Shores. Sorry, there's a bug in my face. Oh my god, get away from me. Um, but we did Save Our Shores and then after that just spent the day at the beach and it was actually like the perfect beach day not too hot where you're like sweating on your towel um and like not windy at all not really crowded the water was concerningly brown so we didn't like go frolic in the waves or whatever like if the water was blue that would have been like the only thing to make it nicer but you can't win them all so we spent the day there and then because we were at the beach in the sun from like 9 a.m. till I think 3. It was so tired. You know when you get sun sleepy? That was me. I was so tired. And so then um, I just like came back and hung out the rest of the night. My family and I, we watched Sprint on Netflix. This is a documentary series about all the like American sprinters. We watched all six episodes on the 4th of July. Very patriotic of us. Um, then yesterday, my mom and I started the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders like series on Netflix. I think it's called like America's Sweethearts or something. Also really good. There's one thing about me. I eat up Netflix documentary series. So we're like halfway through that. But today, my mom and I are going to go shopping because we're going to Hawaii soon. And we need, um, like we're taking family photos and we need like clothes to wear. Like nice dresses and whatever to match my dad and my brother so we're gonna go shopping there so we'll take you guys along with me but that's all on the agenda today usually when i'm at home i like to stay at home and just be a homebody so after that i there will probably be nothing exciting i'm going to enjoy the beautiful scenery the forest and yeah see you. Sunday and I didn't really vlog a ton yesterday because after the mall which I didn't get anything by the way so it was like not that interesting but after the mall we just like came home and watched TV it was really unexciting and then this morning I woke up and I did a little workout and then during my workout um Buster decides he's you know feeling himself and decide and tries to haunt me which I'm like, hello, what the heck? I've never had a dog try to do that before. It was really weird. I just started like laughing. I was like, what is going on right now? It was really funny. Um, but right now I'm getting ready for church. It is Sunday morning. And yeah, after church, we're gonna head to Costco. Oh, I don't think I brought my primer. Oh, here it is. Um, we're gonna go to Costco and then kind of just chill the rest of the day. Honestly, when I'm at home, I really just want to like be at home, you know, like not really go out anywhere. And because my friends are like, oh, like, what are you going to do when you're at home? All of these things. I'm like, I'm going to stay in the house. I'm going to sit on the couch or I'm going to like bake something or just like enjoy this time at home. I don't want to like go out and do stuff like on Friday. When I went to the beach with my friend, I'm like, okay, I'm glad I got to, like, go out being Santa Cruz. But I'm fine staying at home the rest of the time, you know? And honestly, being back here reminds me of, like, spring break and winter break. And I would vlog, and I would honestly just do puzzles. Like, especially winter break. I loved my winter break because I just did puzzles and hot yoga all day. And it's like, what more could a girl want in her life? At least for me at that time, I was like kind of getting burnt out of school and being so social all the time that I was like thriving being at home. Also, I washed my makeup brushes yesterday. 
So I don't know how well they're gonna apply. Um, and I was like just thriving being at home. So being back here kind of reminds me of that era and it's like really sentimental to think about. I was like, that's been seven months since like I made those videos of just me at home, like doing puzzles all day. Like it was just so, such a nice like Christmas and all of that stuff that I'm like, oh, I like, you can't get that time back. And it makes me really like sad thinking about it. Of, like, just I'm glad I had those videos to look back on. And I remember I was like not wanting to go back to school at all. I was like, please God, no. Like I just want to stay at home and like rot the rest of my life. And so it is really refreshing coming. It always is refreshing coming back home and like not having a huge to-do list or, you know, always wanting to be productive. I'm really like sentimental thinking about it. And like, even like back in high school, I would like not realize how much I would miss this place. And I don't plan on ever moving back home in the future. You know, you never know where your life is gonna take you. So it is, I don't know, sad coming back and being like, oh, I'm never gonna like, Get this time back or i'm never gonna like live at home then i can always come visit but it really it just isn't the same and like four days really isn't long enough that i honestly haven't been filming at home because my life at school is boring i like just go to work and i will go do like hot yoga and then i will watch love island and that is my routine so from here on until end of july it's just like I'm pretty sure it's just three straight weeks of uh, working, maybe two and a half of working. I'm house sitting for a couple days, which is so nice. Um, it's my friend's birthday, so we're like gonna do a beach day, but honestly nothing else has been, is on the agenda. I feel like now being 21, I'm like, and now is the time to go out and meet people and have fun. It's my last summer of freedom. But honestly, I'm just a homebody. I just like being at home. I like my routine. I like eating dinner early and laying in bed and watching Love Island. Like I look forward to that every night instead of like going out. But I want to push myself to go out and be more social because I can't meet people. I can't meet a boyfriend sitting and watching TV or reading a book or just like being a hermit and like ugly so i have to like go out i want to go out and meet people and you know do all that stuff but i have to have the motivation to do it and right now the motivation is at a zero so and it is my own issue so i need to figure that out i'm just talking in circles right now so i'm gonna like, go finish getting ready and talk to you later I was just about to go change and I figured I never vlogged from the last time I saw you guys. So it's my little church outfit of the day or of the morning, or I guess in mid afternoon, it's two o'clock now. Jeans are thrifted. They're my literally favorite jeans, favorite finds ever, Levi's 505s, wear them all the time. And then this shirt is also thrifted. It's like a little knit material. Oh, and I also went to Costco, and I picked up four things that I'll show you. First, these RX bars. They are amazing, and I literally eat one one a day, which is probably not good because, I mean, even though it's healthy, it's processed, so I need to get better at that. But regular, regular organic cashews. Ooh, these things, these Simple Mills honey cinnamon little crackers. Apparently they're, I mean, the ingredients are really clean and Simple Mills is a really good brand. I mean, I already had some. They taste like graham crackers, um, but this is a really good brand if you don't, if you wanna have something sweet and not a lot of ingredients. And then I also picked up this granola, blueberry cinnamon nut granola. Um, the ingredients are, a pretty good all things considering it does have milk in it um but other than that it's pretty good so i just picked that up just like perishables or non-perishable stuff that i can bring with me back to san diego um because i don't have a costco membership there so i'm gonna change into comfy clothes and probably relax the rest of the day um just because it's my last day here and like I was saying before, I'm a true homebody. I just want to sit 
watch Love Island, online shop, scroll. That's like the perfect Sunday for me. So yeah. Time to leave. Goodbye, Santa Cruz. Goodbye, Bay Area. You were good to me. I also spilled coffee everywhere. Cheers.